back to my channel. I'm Easy Lee. To all my subscribers and regular viewers, I appreciate your support and welcome back. To all the new viewers, thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you consider subscribing, like, share, and leave a comment. I will respond and tell a friend to tell a friend. And today I'll be doing a reaction to White people go to a black barbecue for the first time. This has got to be hilarious. So um, this will be my first time seeing it. And I hope you enjoy it. I hope it's a good video. Let's get started. What's up with you? I'm Slink Johnson, and today I'm hosting a bomb-ass barbecue. I invited the homies, I invited some of my kinfolk, and I invited my good friends, the Bullets. <laughs> Remember them? Well, they gonna hang out with us today. Squad up. Let's see. Hi, I'm Monica Bullock, and I'm about to attend a black barbecue for the first time. I've never been to a black barbecue before. I've never been invited to a black barbecue, but I'm happy to go. I have no idea what to expect at a black barbecue. Fried chicken? Main things I find at a black barbecue, black people. Everything black at a black barbecue, that's what you find. Niggas don't have vegetables. Vegetables, bag of chips is a vegetable. White folks have salads, they have kale salads, they're grilling vegetables, they're grilling salmon on a wood plank, you know what I mean? They're laughing, you know, they're tossing strawberries in each other's mouths, you know what I mean? They're petting dolphins, they're riding horses, you know. This is ribs right here, this pork spare ribs right here. You're gonna use the uh, Tony Saturies. You got the Famous Dave rib rub. You got black pepper. You got some lemon pepper right there. And you just kind of season it up both sides. And then you got the barbecue sauce right here. And once they get done on one side, you hit it with the barbecue sauce, flip it. Hit it with the barbecue sauce again. White people are known for not putting enough seasoning on the stuff. <laughs> One time I ate some white potato salad, it was like eating air. Or they have seasoning, but it ain't yeah. shit. Like, you know, I ain't gonna lie, I saw this before. On a big ass chip. When I first came to California, I was in these apartments visiting, and there was this couple came downstairs and took out frozen uh, drumsticks, chicken, and put it on the grill. But I was still frozen rock hard and uh, sprinkle some salt and pepper on top of it and let it cook. I was like, wow. <laughs> so I know what he's talking with about. Rosemary and was like, oh, that's gonna, and once the flav gets in there, what flav? It's just a leaf. You rub it on this big ass piece of chicken. The mama pointed at salt. She said, what is that, cocaine? I said, no, bitch, that's salt. What is that? That's a hot lake. Like. What's, what's in it? It's like a bunch of stuff, like the pig, like a bunch of pig parts. <laughs> like a sausage. Yeah, like a sausage. Like a sausage. When the pig is happier, it comes out as a hot leg. When yeah. it's depressed, it's a hot dog. Yeah. I'll yeah. pass on that. Steve, <laughs> <laughs> like, that sounded nasty. I don't eat pork. I'm not the ones that do. But um, I haven't ate pork in almost 30 years now. And um, when I stopped eating it, I could tell I felt different. So it's not really good for you. Really no meat, but pork. <laughs> After you eat this barbecue, yeah. the first thing we want to do is get you a new pair of jeans, man. I ain't <laughs> never seen a man wear mom jeans. So we get you a new pair of jeans. <laughs> yeah, just bought get, those jeans. They not yeah. that bad, Steve. Just untuck them. Just, just, yeah. look, just untuck yeah, yeah, your shirt. Yeah, yeah. Come on, Steve. We, we untuck your shirt. There you go. Yeah. That's it. Come on. Ah. Untuck <laughs> it. <laughs> Loosen up. Come on, Loosen up. Man. Hey, Steve. Yeah. Triple OG Steve. What kind of games y'all play, man, when you, um, have barbecues and stuff. I don't do stuff outside. Yeah, I don't know. You don't so do you, stuff you, outside. You're not going to picnics? Yeah, we just, uh, I, I got to keep them from like running into the lakes and like drowning them. Running into the lakes and drowning themselves? <laughs> Where are y'all rich? Where's the lake at? I ain't never been to a damn lake. <laughs> y'all rich. Grandma, what do you think, Grandma? The Delicious. There you go. Why do you like barbecuing instead of just cooking it inside and being inside? I mean, just to be outside and enjoy nature. Mm -hmm. Enjoy this freedom, because if you ever been inside, you're going to be, you're going to love being outside as much as possible. Yeah, they don't barbecue in jail a lot, so, no. <laughs> yeah. Actually, they never barbecue in jail. Yeah. No? Yeah. So how often do you barbecue? On average, you barbecue like at least twice a month, because somebody's getting out of prison, Yeah. or somebody got a job for most. Like big or somebody just came up on some meat. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, had a deal, like a truck fell over, and yeah. he was like, "We finna barbecue for the next two weeks straight." Yeah. 
I actually, there was going to be some grilled salmon. <laughs> it. But what happened was Teddy took the money for that and bought weed with it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's play dominoes, man. Okay. Yeah. Let's play some dominoes, yeah, man. Show me how to play. All right, Steve. This is a gladiator sport you're about to take part in. This is dominoes. And around these parts, we take our dominoes very, very seriously. Now, this is not for the faint of heart. You gotta have tough skin, because I'm gonna say a lot of shit about your mama. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, you ain't shit. You ain't gonna win. And victory is, is mine. You know what I'm saying? Your defeat is imminent. You understand that, right? Yeah. I'm the king of this table, Steve. We'll see. Damn. He already on the right track. That's all. He already on the right track. You see, you see what happened? He's on the right track. After that rib, he nigga up. Okay. He on the right track. I didn't want to be the one to say it. The hot The hot leg, nigga them up. Okay. This is called washing the dishes. When you mix the domino, okay? You mix them up real good. And right now is when the crash talking really actually begins. And if, and if you domino with 15, you jump up and grab your nuts. You like, <laughs> domino! <laughs> Nothing. Okay, Nothing. Slam it down oh, like from the back. Like yeah. Yeah. That is not like Steve to talk smack. No. <laughs> talk he's smack. Been around this earth for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? He's not like young and dumb. Like he's heard some sh slick shit being said over his life. So when he was like, "No, you won't," like that's that's mainly his response. No, you will not. Five down. I got that. Like, we all over there. I'm fucking that bitch tonight. We saw the dominoes, and he's like, that was solid. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I don't know. My mind's not really on the game. It's on the fact that Steve actually might be falling in love with my sister. He was eating some of the ribs. He likes her haircut. You know, my sister's never slept with a man before in her life. She's a lesbian. So, my sister might fuck Steve in the ass. Steve might fuck him in the ass. I don't know. I just got to deal with that. You know, something I got I to gotta take that fade. You know, they call it taking the fade. So, if you see me in the corner, like, looking confused, that means they fuck. <laughs> She's nice. She's a really good cook. <laughs> really good cook. <laughs> Steve, look you. So, if you see me in the corner, like, looking confused, look where that means they fuck. <laughs> She's nice. She's a really good cook. That's stupid. <laughs> really good cook. Steve, look, you know, he's a young, virile, handsome dude. You know, it ain't like can't nobody choose up on him. I don't know why Mo was a little bit shaky today. He was like standing in a corner, nigga, like really staring down, niggas, eyeing people, talking about, oh, don't talk to my sister like that. And I was like, nigga, ain't nobody finna talk to your sister right now. None. She got a flat top, bro. We are good. We are good. You're safe. You know what I'm saying? You can leave your sister here naked next to the ribs, and niggas will pick up them ribs first. There you go. Okay. This barbecue is kind of like, you know, the beginner's version. I didn't invite all my niggas over here, you know what I mean? They would have robbed their ass. So it was like, I had a sprinkle of the niggas show up, so. They didn't get too scared. Nobody fucked the grandma or nothing like that. Well, for this barbecue, there's a little more profanity than we might have at our barbecue. A little more drug references. Uh, actually, our drug references would be zero, so way more drug references. A little like louder volume and uh, rap music. We don't usually have rap music. <laughs> baby, 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 baby. Um, one of them said they got granite wood when they are tiny jail. Of course, I would go to a black barbecue again. We got me on probation right now. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. I think the main differences between a white barbecue and a black barbecue is that um, people just like are are um, more open with each other and just like they just like talk real oh, things have a and good they time. talk trash to each other and they treat each other with respect but disrespect at the same time. It's it's a lot of fun. Thank you for watching white people attend a black barbecue for That's the first it. time. Please make sure to... Alright, that brings this video to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a good, funny video. I did like it myself. I hope you consider subscribing. And, um... Stay tuned for more. Hit the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. And I appreciate you watching it to the end. Till next time, I'm out.